Hey Internet, I'm Colorful Artie and welcome back to Frogger, he's back. So we're halfway through the Cloud World, we're now on the good part of the Cloud World, starting with Loonier Balloons. It's like Looney Balloons, but Loonier, and at sunset now. And we've got like half the time. And everything's really fast. Other than that though, it's pretty much identical. So we can get more time here, and we're gonna have to wait for a duck to come- Oh, okay, or not. Did I just walk into a trap? You'll notice this level is extremely similar to Looney Balloons, it's just a lot harder. Because everything goes faster, you've got less time. See, I barely even made it onto that duck in time. But the frogs are all in the same locations. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's no dawdling allowed on this level. You also have to jump early. There are fewer balloons. Etc, etc. Come on. There we go. So I know most people are not a big fan of the, uh, repeating levels like this one. I don't mind them. It gets excessive in the retro ranking, but besides that, I have no problem with sequels. As long as they're, like, different enough. So this one is, like, I feel like they should have done more to it to make it, like, more unique. Because they've changed, like, a few things, but other than that, it's really, like, pretty much the exact same level. Alright, we're going after the red frog. He's the most problematic, so... He's in the same place. And that's not good, because... Oh great, we're running out of time. Those stupid geese aren't coming. What the heck? And that can happen! Whoa, I made it there with more time than I thought I would have. Alright. Blue Frog, here we come. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. So, there are no balloons here, you'll notice. There is, however, now a pelican. And Blue Frog is ours. And next level is Airshow Antics. It's the only level in the Cloud World that has a unique theme, and it's pretty awesome. It's also at night, and now the clouds have ice physics. But I actually don't mind the ice physics on this level, because it's cool enough. Also, there's a lot more exploration on this level than on the other cloud levels. Also, there are helicopters that now try to cut you up. That's always nice. And here's the green frog. And now we get to ride on airplanes! Whoa, oh boy. Okay. And here's the red frog, he's just on the opposite end of the green frog! And booyah! Alright, so... The blue frog is in an interesting place. You've got to jump on this blue biplane. And he'll take you here. That's where the blue frog is. Now the problem is, the remaining frogs can be rather annoying to get to. Especially the orange one. Well, I guess we're not getting the orange one. And these are chicken hawks. And they're nasty. So 
Seriously, the music on this level is just so good. Alright, let's try to get the orange frog. He's the toughest one to get because these things keep trying to cut you up. I can't believe I did not die there. That's absolutely ridiculous. And that's where the golden frog is. You gotta be really careful not to pop the balloons here. And that's an orange frog. Alright, airplane, take me on an airplane ride. Alright. No, the stupid chicken hawks! I do like all of the, uh, scenery on this level, though. I'm guessing if there was, like, a map of this level, it would be really simple. Just, like, only, like, three cloud platforms all next to each other. But yet, it still looks interesting. Alright. I'm going to need all the lives I can get for the next world. But that's the cloud world complete! Woo! Ah, oh, man. So the Cloud World's just kind of average. Unfortunately, now we're on the worst world in the game. So you can see we're on the last three worlds, and we're up on the Fishbone World, aka the Sewer World. First level, Bane Bane Barrel. Definitely one of the best levels in the Sewer World, and unfortunately that's not saying a lot. So the Sewer World stinks, let's be honest. In more than one way. So, yep, we've got running dirty water. Oh, and I jumped in it already. Whoopee! And so the main gimmick of this level is you, can, uh, you have to ride these oil drums down the river. Or rather, the sewer pipes. Picking up bugs along the way. Good times all around. Now we've got to just go on these barrels. These are the Bane Bane barrels. You hop on them and they send you flying, just like you saw. Unfortunately, you've got to line up them up just right so you land on these newspapers. Frogger takes on the world. It's good to know that there's worthwhile news in the paper after all. So that's Red Frog. And we have to take this long sewer ride multiple times. However, there's... Well, there are shortcuts, if you can pull them off. I should not have done that! I can't believe it paid off! Alright. Let's just keep riding this for a bit. Actually, wait. Let's get that first. Whoa! Ah, okay! The camera messed me up there. Darn it. Yeah, you can just see, the sewer world's gonna be fun times all around, and we are not even on the worst level. Not by a long shot. Worst level is actually the third level in the sewer, not the last one. The last level, on the other hand, is actually one of the more fun levels. Bane, Bane. Alright. Change of plans, we're not going after the purple frog now. Let's just get the blue frog first. Oh boy. It doesn't help that the sewer world also has the worst music in the game. It's like the only uh, level where I'm like, you know, I'm actually okay with not being able to hear the music. Bane. 
Yeah, so these are slugs, in case you didn't get that memo when I died to one of them. Yeah, they're disgusting. Hey, what gives? There we go. Purple frog can be annoying to get at times. Only two frogs left. They're not too bad. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Spoke too soon. Yeah, sometimes the bang bang barrels just would do not want to line up. Which is why it helps to have a lot of room to work with. I know it's risky going for the one up, but you know what? You got to take some risks in Frogger. Orange frog, and then we are about to get the green frog anyway, so cool. Whoosh, 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 yeah. And bang. All right. The green frog is literally right next to the uh, orange frog. Darn it. I didn't want to stun myself all that way. So you need to step on these barrels. Don't worry, there's actually a lot more lenience on whether you go underwater or not. And that's green frog. And now we get to do slime sliding, which is, in my opinion, by far the best sewer level. And yet, once again, this level has ice physics. Or slime physics, I guess I should say. I still think this is the most fun of the sewer levels, though. So to start, we're gonna hop on one of these barrels. Hop on the Bane Bane barrel, and we get the red frog. And we've got slugs crawling all over the slime-covered logs. That's fun. But we're not going to go across that yet. We've got a date with a pelican. What's a pelican doing in a sewer? I don't know. And it can be annoying to hop onto that platform with the purple frog. Also, rotating the camera is your best friend on the, uh, this level. Because guess what? There are rats on these sli uh, slime paths, as you can see. And for some reason, even though it's smaller than you, it will kill you. Make sure you don't slide under that. Those are the fish bones that the world is named after, but believe it or not, they're probably the least problematic enemies in the entire, like, game. <laughs> So I don't know how they got the world title, as opposed to the slugs, or even the rats. I don't know. Alright. So, going on to the platform of the purple frog can be really annoying. Because if you do it even slightly too early, you'll fall in there, but if you do it even slightly too late, for some reason the pelican won't let you hop on. Come on. You can go on their beaks, at least in the sewer world, though. So, hop. Okay, yeah, see, like that. I hopped at just the right time, but it wouldn't let me hop off. I've actually never ridden this guy all the way over. Alright. Yeah, like right there! It, I was literally right above that platform and it would not let me jump down it. Bunch of baloney, bunch of baloney, bunch of baloney. Alright. 
and I don't be a doofus this time and let me actually hop on when I want to. Yeah, very, very picky. Don't know why. There's another way onto this platform besides the pelican. Oh, maybe they're trying to discourage you from using the pelican to hop on there. Then we're gonna hop like crazy. I wow, Hot Frogger was just not having that hopping down the slime. Normally you hop really quickly across the slime like that. And that was a slug I almost hit. You can jump down here, get the orange frog. Eight seconds, that's pretty good. So I'm not really sure what these yellow drops are supposed to be. Might be a different kind of slime, I don't know. All I know is Green Frog is right there. Alright, the next level is one of the worst in the game. Probably second worst. Uncanny Crusher. I'm guessing a lot of people never made it past that level. We'll find out why in the next episode. I'm Color Flority, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and God bless.